brunette because mm. I'm a brunette, honey. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I was I was actually scared of this question, so I'm I'm happy that you that you got discovered. I can go very long. <laughs> no, like I used to have I used to have dreadlocks, and you're not allowed to wash dreadlocks. No, you shouldn't wash dreadlocks that lot. So, I I did like two three weeks without without washing it. I think the longest I can go is like three days. Yeah, three days, and I have to like wash it. Gel, gel, and spray. I'm I, like, uh, like I don't know. Coconut, <laughs> coconut oil is always, always good. Actually, actually, it's, it's getting tested positive here. That's just crazy. Like I'm in those, I'm in those booths, you know, like to get, to get tested, you know, like every, every, you know, like all, almost all the time. And you're sitting there and just waiting for a message to let you know if you are, if you're still in the competition or you're disqualified. It's like so hard on you. I think the best tip for hair is to like. When you do it a lot, because obviously right now we're always we always have to be like look we have to look good. I think you have to treat it with love and care. Yeah, most of the time because you don't want it to get damaged. Don't let anybody tell you this looks good or this looks bad. Just like feel it out yourself. And like if you don't like it, change it. If don't, don't change it. But just make sure that hair always represents you rather than like somebody else's opinion or like somebody else's look. Like I have so much fun just doing my own schmidt sh with it. My persona, my charisma, and my vibe because I'm quite a, I'm, I'm a fun person to be with. Totally, you are. Yeah, yeah thank yeah. you. Thank and you're you. very like self-confident and stuff. Yeah. Also, I would I would put that also like yeah, you're um, you're very like yeah. you know you know you know who you are you know your values yes. you know from what I can say and just know yeah. you for a couple minutes like this and uh, yeah, yeah thank you strong one. So sweet. Now you have to spray because you're doing this. <laughs> in hopping your vision, in hopping your vision, in hopping, hopping, hopping your vision, oh, in hopping your vision, in hopping your vision, in hopping your vision. <laughs> Damn it. So I actually received this advice from Sasha. She told me that I should treat myself with a Brazilian treatment and I should, um, um, what's like the, it's not like a, a steam pod, I should steam my hair so that it feels more like, yeah. That's my, the best advice I got so far, so far. And you? Yo, you sprayed first. Uh, do I still have to do yeah, this when you spray? still have to answer the question. Uh, then what is the spray for? Damn it. Uh, best hair advice that I that I got, just to really make sure that uh, the hair is an extension of of uh, of who you are and not vice versa. I now, nowadays, I wish I'm brave enough to go bold. Because I have a reason for it. Because um, I straighten my hair a lot mm -hmm. and I lost my afro touch and I want to rebuild it and I want to regrow it. Right. But I'm not confident yes. enough to do it. It's like it's a big move yeah. and I don't know if it's, it will suit me. I mean, obviously there are wigs you can mm -hmm. use, but um, yeah, I'm skeptic about it. What do you think? I mean, I think sometimes detaching yourself from the beauty of the hair is super important and it can like help you like internally and like mentally so much more than a nice haircut would if you if you need to you know like go go bold for for a bigger dream you know of, of having a fro then you know just like that that's what it is yeah.